Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Polachek. Welcome to my channel. Guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is January the 3rd and we get to start ordering from Celebration. And you new people might know want to know what is Celebration? Well, Celebration is the time of the year from January to the end of March that we get to order. Well, every time we order $50 worth of supplies, we get a free item. Or if we order $100 worth of supplies, we get two free items or one larger of the free items. There's lots of different items inside this book. I can't show it till tomorrow, the inside of it. But today we're going to be using one of the products that only requires for one free item, which is $50 worth of product. And today with that free item, we're going to be making a handmade card that is perfect for beginners. I'll be showing you every little detail along the way. I also will be giving away the little kit that we use today. I have it all packaged up in this little uh, envelope. I'll link. I'll put a link to how we make these in the catalog, but I put all the products inside of here that we're using for the thing today. And uh, I'll give it away at the end of the, the end of January. I'm planning on giving away something every month, so be sure and listen. And the only the only thing you have to do in order to win the product is just to make an order. So just go down below is, is a link to my store. And when you link it to my store, you'll need to uh, create an account. It's one thing that it requires for. And then if you want to, to look for more easier cards, go in the search. In the search, it's on the left-hand side, right up below create account. And uh, it will say uh, like a little search bar and you can put um, card kits in that search bar. And when you put card kits in there, there'll be things that will line up. And all the kits that like are under $35 are simple cards that you don't need any kind of diamond cut machine or anything else. It's basically all pre-cut items. So it's really, they would be really great for beginners. Any Anybody can use them because they're beautiful cards. but especially for those beginners. And when you'd use one of these cards, it gets your creative juices running and you could think of different ways to use the stamp set like you made the card that you did. So this, these things are really great for us to, to become more creative. Also in that, uh, when you do, do that search, you also come up with a paper pumpkin. And Paper Pumpkin is a kit of easy things to put together. Again, it's it's just stamps. And there's if there's any die cuts, they have them ready cut for you. So you'll just stack it together and make your own cards out of that stuff. So and it comes to your house every month. So that is really a neat deal for beginners as well. Also, I I do give away free items on my own for people that um go in and order from my channel. One thing I do give away is uh, the catalog. So if you make a $50 order, I'll give you a catalog. Also, I will show in this video, if you make a $100 order, what you will get is a, it's a bow maker. So it'll be shown in this in this video as well. And let's see, um, and is there anything else? Oh, and if you do make big orders uh, in the catalog, it will show that you can also at any time of the year, earn free products as well, or free value, like 10% of everything that you buy that's over $150, I believe it is. And uh, you will get those items free with every larger order. So if you and your friends get together and you make a, like if you have a like, well, you can actually even have a party online that I can set that, that up for you, for you and your friends. And if then if you, if all the orders are put together, then you can get free items for having that, organizing that party online. So that's another cool thing. So anyway, let's get started with our project today. Okay, let's see what we have in this little kit. Looks like we have some uh, cording and some uh, dimensionable dimensions. Uh, dimensions, <laughs> dimensionables, I think they call them. <laughs> um, 
what they are is they're little cushioned pads and it makes your car look more 3d because you raise your certain items up a little bit and it makes it uh, look very unique and homemade okay looks like we have something here oh these are little vellum pieces probably to decorate the outside of the card everything is pre-scored so your card is already made all you have to do is fold it only thing you might need what I can see maybe they have them inside of here we'll find out I'm gonna go ahead and fold all these up because I have a little envelope that I like to make that's in the I'll put a description of it below it's it's a good little project for uh, beginners as well it would hold all your items inside this neat little kit you do need a scoreboard or some type of scoring deal. You could also score with a ruler if you wanted to. I might should do a video how to do that with a ruler. So we can make things less expensive for beginners because it's quite overwhelming when you see all the things that Stampin' Up! has. One really unique thing that Stampin' Up! does have for beginners is, um, or anybody really, is uh, what they call the paper pumpkin kits. The paper pumpkin kits come, uh, I would think, something about like this, where there's a lot of different elements to make cards. Isn't that pretty? So two sheets of these gold accents, and these are, and these you just poke out. Looks like you could use either side. And these or like to put your, uh, to decorate too. We're gonna see, there might, there's probably a, and you have all your envelopes. So there's eight card envelopes and, and then probably eight bases here. To celebrate today, thinking of you, eight cards. And there's some little, little dots and they have, uh, they have probably have, uh, yeah, they have glue on the back of them. And so you don't even need glue for that. So what will you need for this kit? Not much of anything. All I believe you would need to order was to be some multi-purpose liquid glue. Not even a pair of scissors. You don't need scissors or anything. So this is all you need is this card kit and some glue and you've got it. And actually, yeah, yeah, you would need glue because I think some of these things you wouldn't want to do but glue it flat on. So let's look at one of these ideas here. Looks like this one we got it going this way. And then we have one of these. Another item you might want to get is a bone folder. A bone folder is a, uh, it looks like this. Of course, yours will look a lot better when you get it because it won't be all messed up like mine is. And you just take that card and you press it right here on the edges and that makes it lay flatter for you. Okay, so it looks like we have this and then we also have that vellum. Okay, is that one piece? Yeah, the one piece of vellum. And then this blue, and this, one of these, and they just placed it right there, and we have this, celebrate today. And then we'll have some, looks like we have, oh, probably oh, two or three of these, these leaves, two of these leaves maybe. Yeah, got enough for four cards. So I think, think this would be for four cards here. So you need to buy those to make four of these exactly the same. And let's see how many of these we have. Oh, these are used on both of them. So looks like 
do. Three. Okay, let's try to do this. Okay, and we're also going to be needing to tie a bow, looks like about right there. And actually, I have a bow maker. If you buy $100 worth of items through Stampin' Up! through my website, you get one of these free. So, and I have plenty of videos to show you how to make the, video, uh, the bows. But we're going to make a real quick bow for this card real quick. And it looks like the bow needs to be about that size. So that's about a 2-inch bow. Maybe even a 3-inch, but we'll go with 2-inch see how that looks. I might move it up to 2 or 3-inch. Yeah, let's go with a 3-inch. See how that looks. Yeah, I think that'd be more like it. Anyway, look in my... Uh, description below I'll show you how to make uh takes you to the website to how to make this bow but you might have just caught it with that right there it's very simple so this you would need scissors but you probably have some scissors hanging around that you could cut this with okay so that looks like that Looks like we're ready to make this card. That's pretty already, isn't it? Okay, we got our glue. And what I'm going to do to glue this on, if you glue within that white area, you'll be able to see their little glue dots. So we're going to try to glue right where those little, uh, right where these little dots are at. That'll help us glue it so it will uh, not be seen on the front. So I'm just going right over those little dots and probably just these on the outside would be enough. This glue, even after it dries, is still sticky. So just take your time and do it like that. And we're trying to center it right in that spot. And that glue it, you can move it up for a little while after you stick it down. Okay, so I stuck that straight on down to the deal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue. Let's look and see where this is at. This looks like it's about right here. And this is about right here. And also looks like this is lifted up and the flower is lifted up. And this probably is just glued straight down. So we want to we know we want to put that about right there. Let's go ahead and put two of the glue dots behind that. I mean, these dimensionals behind that. Okay, now we can see where that needs to be. And first, the uh, looks like the this needs to go down. Okay, now see what I see when this we do this? We are going to need a dimensional behind here to lift it up at the same level that this is. So let's go ahead and put another uh, dimensional right here. Okay, that looks like it's about right there. Go ahead and put a dot of glue on top of the bow as well. Trying to get that straight. Okay. Now these, I'm going to stick some glue, sneak some glue behind that. This glue dries very fast. You just have to hold some pressure to it just for a few seconds and it'll, it'll hold for you pretty easy. One here. It looks like one around here. Okay. And, oh, it does look like they had two and then the little flower there, so I didn't see that earlier. So we'll just do two. 
because we want to be sure and have enough. Okay. Whether you glue that the ends of these down, it's up to you. If they kind of curl, that looks, makes it look more real, so that's why I kind of just do the bottom of them. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get one of these little flowers. I'll put that little flower somewhere. Put it right underneath there. Looks like I got a little glue on top of my foil there. Okay, now see, since I got that dimensional there, I don't need this so close to this end. I need it further away because this is being raised up by this. And this needs to be right here. So I got no dimensional and two on this side. And I'm going to put a little glue right there to glue it straight to the blue oval here. There we go. Now, all we have to do is glue our flower up here. And I think it would look better if you lift it up. Not only do you can you use these inside, but you can use there's a strip all the way around that you can use as well. You just can cut it apart and use it as you need it. Now the way I'm showing you, and you might need more dimensionals too, I don't know. But anyway, that makes a nice dimensional card. Okay, let's go ahead and do this other one too. So you know I can know how to do both of these cards. Okay, now this one Huh, it has that pink. Oh, that is already there. Okay, well, that's there. So all we need is the Thinking of You Leather Bow. Okay, I'm going to use a couple of these. And this one for sure is using two on the bottom and two on top. Okay, so we'll need four of these. One of these flowers. If you wanted to get a stamp set with the different greetings, some different greetings, oh, let's see what we got here. Like this happy birthday, for instance, would fit on there. This thank you would fit on there. This set is called Peaceful Moments. After the third, I'll be able to put a link to this, this set so you'll know what it is. And you could turn this over and even use these other ones to put the sentiment that you need on there. Um, but anyway, it's nice. It has something for the outside and for the inside. So that's always a nice, a nice uh, usable stamp set. So anyway, maybe we should go ahead and show you how to do a stamp. Okay. Okay. Let's do a little bit of simple stamping here. And what you do to 
to put a stamp on there, you put it on there. That's what you think is square. Then when you flip it over, you can see that this line is going this way. So we need to raise it up a bit to make it level this way. You can see what I'm talking about. It's leveled this way. And then that way, when you take your stamp and stamp this, you would square it up with the edge of this. Okay, let's do it on something that's a little bit more colorful so we can see it. Yeah, here's all the directions here. Oh, when all that spells, read the directions. Okay, I think you can see that better. Yeah, it looks like they stamped it with a, like a soft suede or something like that. So we'll stick with that. Maybe even early espresso, but I think the soft suede will work out fine. Let's try it out. Okay, so our aim is to have this square and have this stamp square. So that's what we're going to try to do and try to get in the middle. So when we do it, we just tap very lightly. We don't beat it to death because if you do, you'll get ink around the edges and then you, then it's, um, you'll make like a shadow around the stamp. Okay, so we got that. We're trying to make it square. And if you mess this up, you got plenty more chances because you got a lot of languages that you probably don't know what it is. Because I sure don't. <laughs> okay, so now we got a sympathy card. And let's do that. Okay, so now here we go. We got thing that we're going to put glue on our bow. It looks like it's about in the middle there, kind of bending down. Then we'll put our sympathy thing. It looks like we need dots on both sides. Dimensionals. And I'm going to put a dot of glue on top of my bow as well. And this will kind of help hold it down. The dimensionals will kind of help hold it down until it dries. Okay. Now we'll stick the... These. I think we set two of these on top and maybe two on the bottom. So we're kind of going for an angle like this, looks like. Now, if you start feeling creative and want to do it a different way by laying it out, go for it. This is what this is all about, is being creative. I didn't notice the envelopes. they got got some pretty things on the inside of those, too. They sure do. During celebration... If you order $50 worth of items, you get one item free, and um, and you should be able to see that on the website, what those items are. So we'll get another one. I'll put that on the, kind of on the side so I can see it. Okay. And that's it. So now we got two pretty cards, or two pretty cards. And like I said, this kit is enough to make eight of them. So, be sure and go to my website listed below and you can order these items. And if you do uh, order just $50 worth of items, I will send you a catalog. Here are the catalogs. I can't show you the inside yet because Celebration is not here yet once I put the video out. But anyway, it's full of of nice projects that you can make and purchase so yes go to my website listed below and shop to your heart's content thank you bye bye